Hey people, so this is going to be, uh, what, what video of mine isn't different, uh, but this one specifically is going to be different because I'm addressing it to some people that I would normally never address a video on this channel to. Uh, that being uh, Kevin Smith and um, Andy McAlfrish, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, regarding their podcast, Education. Um, if I I have been a fan of the education podcast that um, Kevin and Andy do for a good while now, um, I have actually listened to every um, every one of them. Uh, the one they just did recently is the one that I am going to be addressing. So this is to Kevin and Andy. Um, like I said, first off, I am a big fan of both of, uh, big fan of, of Kevin's. I've been a big fan of Kevin's since, um, since I first saw Clerks, um, back when it was in, in L.A. and it was in one of the art house theaters. I've seen every single film. Um, I've loved the podcast, uh, since I first heard it. I've gone back and listened to every single episode. Um, but there was a thing that came up in... The most recent episode, uh, number, uh, I believe it's 43, where they were talking about uh, Nikola Tesla, um, and it was mentioned that Kevin kind of jokingly said uh, something about using uh, the Tesla coil um, in a way to um, to make a him or and or anybody else. Uh, orgasm. And this immediately brought up something that I had been interested in talking about on my channel here um, for a while, and that is electric play. I'm going to do a completely separate video dealing with um, electric play as, as an entire thing, but I wanted to specifically deal with the issue that Kevin brought up which was the idea of using electricity to make a person orgasm. Um, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, with men, uh, using most likely using, most of the times I've seen it uh, performed, we're done with a TENS unit and a specialized attachment, uh, which was used... Um, Anally to stimulate the, pro, um, the um, prostate gland to do what is called milking. Um, this is something that's not very common, um, but it is something that has that is done. Um, usually, th this kind of thing is done uh, via just manual stimulation, uh, but can be done using a um, anal plug style device or a um, or some kind of um, device that you can um, uh, put into the rectum and stimulate the prostate gland. Uh, with women, uh, they, there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, not only through TENS units, uh, but through violent wands, which is uh, violent wands were originally a, quite, um, a medical device to stimulate hair growth and other things, um, which our community has taken on and exploited for, you know, for, as a fun as a fun thing to do. One of the things that you can do, and again, right mindset, right everything, you can make a woman orgasm using electricity either, again, through a TENS unit or through a violent wand. Uh, a TENS unit is a, is a standard medical device that uh, you, pretty much every uh, hospital or medical supply um, sh uh, medical supply um, space has available. Uh, you can get it all over the internet, and usually it's helped to um, help people with, that, with muscle issues, back issues, things like that. If you use it right, you can use it to stimulate a woman into having an orgasm. 
So, I don't know if you'll ever see this. I don't know if you'll even use any of this. Uh, I'm going to po post a link to this on, on my Twitter feed. Uh, hopefully Andy, because um, I'm going to be directing it towards him. He's the one that does the research on this. Uh, hopefully he will see this and it will be something that they can be used within the um, within the confines of the uh, show. I Like I said, I'm going to do a second video um, tomorrow, or not, not right now, but a little later, uh, regarding just electric play in general, because it is a play style I like. So, uh, even though I don't get to do very much of it, it's a play style I do really enjoy. Um, and I'll get into not only the Violent Wands, the Ten Units, but all of the other uh, types of electric play that you can do. So, that's it for now. Be well and safe.